So hi dear Capricorn, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a journal love reading for all the Capricorns and Moon Venus rising and it is for singles. Okay, this is a reading from 21st till the 30th of June and it's a general reading. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. So let's start. Capricorn, your current energy is right now at this present moment. Let's see Capis. We get the Ten of Cups, the Four of Cups and the Emperor card. Bottom of the deck is the Page of Wands. Okay. See what is happening Capricorn. Uh, uh, you are longing for some kind of companionship, relationship and situation in, in, in your life where everything is healthy and happy and flirty and there is no commitments and there is nothing like uh, stressful in the situation. But when it comes to the situation because of family pressure might be or you have that kind of energy in your life eventually i want someone who is going to be with me forever you are getting confused you are in dual mind uh, minded kind of situation right now capricorn being a very very practical sign uh, you are not that much uh, in touch with your uh, like uh, emotional side okay capricorn but right now what is happening is you are trying your best to be, like stay in touch with your emotional and practical side and that is why you are confusing the hell out of yourself you are like Someday you are like, okay, I have to open up to new people, new situation. I want a flirty kind of relationship, a healthy kind of situation where we are more than friends and, uh, you know, everything is lovey-dovey and caring and nurturing and everything like that. But you feel like eventually I have to be in a relationship with someone who is going to provide me the long-term stability and happiness. And you're getting confused, like out of uh, uh, both these situations, which one should you choose? In some cases, you are having options in your life, but you are not able to connect with them the way you want to be. That's why you are kind of detached right now hmm? from these love and relationship kind of things. Okay, let's see what are your energies for a new person or new connection. If someone new is adding up in your life or showing up in your life. Wow. Will you please stay? So, Ace of Wands, Queen of Cups, Page of Cups and bottom of the deck. Very, very high chances, like bright chances that someone new is adding up in your life. This person is going to be like a kid younger to you or they are going to be very sensitive and you are going to feel like uh, you are dealing with a kid kind of energy here. So, you can expect someone who is liking you and it's it's been a while that this person likes you. And finally, I think someone is uh, someone will start opening up with you or... I'm not say I'm not saying that this person is going to come towards you with a lovey-dovey kind of offer or they are going to propose you or something like that. But I do see someone like uh, starting to connect with you more and more. This is someone who is not very expressive uh, when it comes to emotions. Otherwise, they are very playful kind of a person. But uh, I feel someone will start opening up with you a little bit more. And from this point onwards, I do see this this uh, situation or friendship kind of energy can convert into something meaningful something more serious okay okay and this is going to bring a lot of happiness and positivity in your life i feel there is someone around you who makes you really happy and you consider this person uh, like as a just as a friend kind of energy of, of course it's a newish kind of energy uh, that is about to enter in your life for some of you it's, this person is already around you for some of you this is about to happen about to enter okay so i feel this is like 19 20 days only that you know this person okay maximum three weeks i'm getting here three week to four weeks uh, if this, this this type of person is already around you if not you are about to meet this kind of person who's not going to be very expressive when it comes to feelings but slowly but surely they will start opening up to you it is going to be a uh, attractive kind of energy both of you are going to feel the attraction toward each other and uh, uh, slowly but surely this is uh, converting into something very beautiful and sweet sweet kind of friendship kind of energy going uh, into the next level okay Let's see what are your energies for uh, past person, past connection, past situation showing up in your life. We have the nine of wands, ace of pentacles, five of wands. Okay, temperance. Cappies, this is very, very hard for a past person to come back to you. They want to have a balanced kind of situation between you and them, but I don't think they are coming back to you. Like uh, 
someone from your past wants to have a connection with you i'm not going to say relationship or commitment or marriage they want to try for the last time where things can become a little more stable between you guys they want to put an end to this conflict and fight and issues but i don't think they are going to do something about it okay this the, the situation or person that you're stuck on while, while i'm talking to you okay the past person that a uh, past situation that you are stuck on they are ready to like have a mature kind of energy where both of you are uh, at peace about the situation and both of you are going on your separate ways but they are not able uh, not even able to you know find the peace in the situation come towards you with this pe peaceful kind of energy even if they want to so i don't think anybody from your past is showing up the specific especially the especially the person that you are stuck on or uh, like uh, wanting uh, to come back in your life not happening sorry let's see what is the guidance for you people in this situation We have the Knight of Cups, the Fool card and Six of Cups. You have to find your own closure, Capis. Mm -hmm. There is something related to closure, confession, expression, okay, that you uh, want to find within yourself. If you are wanting someone from your past to come towards you, apologize to you and confess and express and do everything that uh, that is going to make you free or that is going to set you free, it's high time for you to realize that uh, you yourself have to get the confession. You yourself have to get the uh, uh closure that you are wanting in your life and you yourself is responsible for this point of uh, getting stuck on the situation no one else on earth is uh, keeping you stuck you yourself the memories that you are having about the situation the expectation are keeping you stuck okay so if even if it happened uh, to you like with you in like uh, six years ago ten years ago you are still stuck on this energy of okay they are to blame here they did that bad. they did this uh, with me they, they did that with me and they are the one who to blame you they ruined my life <laughs> it's high time for you to be responsible for your own life and start uh, you know uh, moving in the next direction of your life and expect people and things to remain silent with you not giving you the closure not giving you uh, whatever you are wanting from them because they also have a free will and second thing they are not uh, going to act according to you because they are free will they have a free will and they are not you right okay so thank you so much for tuning in cappies i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste